I'm going to drop. Oh, wait. All right, there's one little amigo behind me, so let's hop in super quick. We'll pick him off, and then I'm going to show you guys how to land, and then I'm going to go over the controls of the jackal. So let's just bank ever so slightly right here. He should be in that main building right there. Now if we just approach very slowly, and there he is. Perfect. All right, so now that he's dead, I'm going to bank left here, and I'm going to show you how to land the jackal. All right, you see that I'm pressing the throttle, which is that button right there. I'm going to come in as parallel to the ground as I can. I'm going to let off the throttle so I can approach slowly. Then I press the brakes right before I land. And you see there, I landed without taking any of the HP of the Jackal off, which that was pretty good. All right, now, as far as the controls are concerned, the throttle, which is what I'm pressing right now, is something that you're going to have to pretty much press 100% of the time unless you're trying to slow up land or if you're tapping it nice and quick in succession right there so you can make a tight turn we're gonna just get this guy in the vehicle i can't resist he's right there all right there we go all right so um the next one oh oh there's another guy there and he just ate me down oh my goodness he's got the shots all right let's pick him off real quick because he's being very rude i am trying to do a jackal tutorial here the basics of flying and he's all right there we go so if you haven't noticed i'm actually playing solos right now because that is the absolute best mode to play when you're practicing with the jackal all right because it's a lot easier than squads a little bit less sweaty and it gives you a lot more time to practice because you don't have to worry about four people on the same squad trying to kill you if they see you flying overhead i'm just gonna jump down to this one and i'm gonna show you guys how to take off and how to land again. So we're going to hit that throttle. Okay, we're going to press it right there. We're going to take off. And I'm going to land again to show you guys. You want to come in as parallel to the ground as possible. You don't want to come in at an angle because then you're going to nose down, take damage off the jackal. It happens every time. You go from 100% to 40%. Now you see I'm coming in slowly right here. And then I hit the brakes at the very end. And there we go. Nice, gentle touchdown. Didn't take any HP off the Jackal at all. We're going to go over the buttons now. Everything that you see right here, we have the flares, which you start off with three. That's how you dodge the FHJs. You have the brakes. You have the guns with unlimited ammo. And you have ten missiles. Then you also have the passenger seat that you can hop into the stalled jet. Just because landing is very hard for people. We're going to do it right next to the supply box on the roadway. You see there how I hit the brakes at the very end, came in nice and slow. I'm going to grab whatever we can here and hop back into the Jackal. Now, when you land, try to be aware of your surroundings because you don't want to land somewhere where you don't have any room to actually get up speed to take off again. You see I landed on the roadway. I've got plenty of room here to take off. Many of you have asked the question how I fly the Jackal, hold the throttle down, and fire at the same time. So the way I do it is I play with my right thumb for the throttle, and then I use my index finger or trigger finger, whatever you want to call it, for all the other buttons. It will feel awkward at first, but after a while you will get used to it and it allows you to have a lot of control over the Jackal. Ravagers and FHJs will happen almost every map. Now the Ravagers aren't that big of a problem. Don't worry about them. You can outpace them. So if you keep going straight, you're going to outrun them. They won't do any damage to you. The FHJs, however, you're going to need to pop the flares and use the terrain, get low, and try to avoid them. Now, say you've gotten hit and you're low HP or you've used all your flares or you've used all your missiles and you want to get a fresh Jackal. Well, every time you destroy a Jackal on a runway, it respawns, which is actually really useful. So, for example, if I have the Jackal for the runway that's still in the good zone, just go back to it and destroy the Jackal you're in and wait for it to respawn just like it did there. It's going to respawn at 100% health 10 missiles, and 3 flares every time. The only time it will not respawn is if the runway is in the bad zone. Once that zone moves in and the runway is no longer in the good zone, the jackal will no longer respawn. Now being over water, it's another thing I want you guys to know about. The jackal cannot touch water. If you touch even one little part of the jackal into the water, it will kick you out and you'll be treading water. And you will not be able to get back into it. It's a pain. <laughs> now speaking of water, this part of the map over here is something unique that I found out myself not too long ago. You cannot land on the ice over here. 
we're going to hover over it as slow as we can so I can show you. This frozen lake right here. If you touch down on the jackal, it will kick you out. And even though the jackal's above land, it will not let you back in. All right, we've got a helicopter right here. I'm going to try to ram it so I can show you guys what happens. If you ram a helicopter or another jackal midair, yes. All right. It makes you stall. See, I have no control over the jackal. Now I'm falling. And I touched water, and it immediately kicked me out of the jackal. So try not to run into vehicles midair. Now, everyone always asks about the white boxes because they don't always show up for everybody. And that's because they can glitch out if you do certain things. The two things you cannot do are jump into the passenger seat of the jackal at any point or use your class ability prior to jumping into the jet. I know it's kind of a pain. That's just the way the gameplay has been for a long time. But if you avoid doing those two things, you should be good. And uh, that's about it, guys. If I didn't answer any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And hit that like and subscribe button for me if you like what I do. Thanks.